Hello you guys, it's Daniel from Scale of Freaks again. Um, in this short video, I want to show you a way I found to make a winter or snow trees, you know, for your diorama, uh, depending on what you're looking for. In this case, um, I was looking around for pictures online of uh, different trees, scenarios in mostly, of course, Europe, um, a lot of snow. Um, a lot of the trees, you know, they lose their their leaves, um, they look pretty empty, they look uh, mostly it's uh, just branches laying around, uh, a couple of leaves but you know mostly dry. So what I was trying to look around is for um, smaller smaller branches or some type of plants. There's a lot of trees out there that you can make yourself, <laughs> um, clay, you know, uh, putty, there's a lot of different ways you can buy your trees from uh, different diorama uh, shops that they sell different products for, for you to make your own stuff. Uh, there's people that use copper wire, different wire, uh, some kind of sponge with a lot of weathering. Um, there's a lot of different results you can get from this, but you know, they involve uh, huge amounts of time in, in work time. So this is what I found. Uh, what I get is like, uh, I try to go for like very detailed branches. Um, I go around on trees. Uh, they, they have to be kind of like dry uh, or you can cut the little leaves whatever they have you know little uh, vegetation out um, I go for the smaller ones uh, to try to look for more detail you can see here I have a 135 scale person here uh, you can see the small leaves uh, they're pretty small in compared uh, for example to your hand if it was that small uh, I think they're pretty good so I grab different branches of many different sizes and uh, I kind of like try to look for depending on the, the pattern that I see on the branch. Uh, perhaps, you know, it can be a big tree, medium tree, small plant, uh, whatever you're going to use on, on your diorama. Here, you know, I sort them out kind of like to start looking for, for what I'm looking for. Um, most of these branches, I cut them out um, depending on what I'm going to use and actually super glue them. Um, what I use is super glue, you know, the little cutters. Uh, hobby knife I super glue them to the to bigger branches and depending on what I'm looking for or what part I'm trying to fill up to to make the tree more real here you can see the very very little tiny ones that I cut uh, in compared to the to the size of this person this little figure um, so this is again what I try to do um, once you cut them, then you start super gluing to, to the other trees. You can see here that I glued a couple of them and it's starting to look more, you know, uh, a little bit more full uh, in, in detail. So I think it's easier to hide the, the super glue showing a little bit of shine where, where you put the branches. You can see here a couple of the spots where, where you can, uh, if you pay a lot of attention, you can see the super glue. But it's nothing that shows up like to you know it pops out and, and you can see it here you can see that i cut with a knife and but it's easier to weather or to paint this you know you can use acrylics enamel whatever your choice is um actually dry dry pastels or whatever you're looking for uh, depending on the the finisher you, you want to achieve for snow um, this is what i found this product is called plastidip it's uh, it's like a rubber. Uh, it, you spray it like paint. Uh, it's a flat finish. You spray it, um, and uh, the finish is pretty. It's flat, but it's rubberish. It's kind of like rubber. You're spraying rubber, so you give it a, sh a light shower from from like the top. You you do not do it from the sides or anything. You know, snow falls from top mostly, uh, unless you're trying to do some other scene where where there's snow coming from everywhere it depends on what you're doing but you know you can practice a little bit um in this case i'm doing snow from the top you know very light snow so you can see the all the speckles of this rubber like landing on the on the trees and they look very very real they leave that um that effect of the snow you know landing on different spots and leaving some some see-through on the branch um, again, the effect is flat, so if you're trying to look for something more wet, after this you let it dry and then you can spray some gloss coat or flat coat or whatever, you know, you're trying to do acrylic, anything. Um, this is the final result. These are the, the trees on my diorama. 
you can see that they look pretty you know depending on how much snow you want to add to it um, you can finish this you can add your own uh, touch or you know uh, baking soda whatever your other things are so any questions let me know uh, write me questions uh, like the video if you want and uh, I'll keep posting stuff thank you guys